Inviting your friends to your world or campaign and controlling what they can see or interact with is a core feature of Kanka. There are two main ways to set up permissions in the application, which I'm going to cover. But before I do, let's have a quick overview of campaign members and what they mean. You can manage and invite new members to your campaign through the Campaigns page by clicking on the Members tab. You'll first have a list of members currently in your campaign, and you can easily remove members who are no longer active or desired in it. The lower part consists of inviting new members to your campaign by providing an email. They will receive a link, which by clicking it will add them automatically to your campaign, but with no role. Campaign roles are the focal point of this video and can be accessed by clicking the Roles tab in the Campaign Settings page. When a campaign is created, a admin role is automatically created which contains your user in it. This role cannot be removed and has access to everything. For the purpose of this video, let's add a new role which will contain the players. By clicking on the Manage button, I can set who is in my role and what they have access to. Let's add Jessica to the player's role and let's give the role access to view all characters, view families and view locations. I am now logged in as Jessica. I can see characters, families and locations since I have access to them, but I do not see items, journals or organizations. If I go on the Characters tab, I do not have the ability to add new characters, but I can still look at characters by clicking on them. I do not have the ability to modify them. If I go under the Notes tab, I see nothing. Back on my main account, I do not want Jessica to be able to see Balthazar Schachtschneider, so I can edit him and set him to Private. Back on Jessica's account, Balthazar is no longer in the list as available options. I can try searching for him, but he does not appear. Next up, I want Jessica to be able to edit Clementine here. By clicking on her, I can now see the permissions icon on the character tabs. From this interface, I can set either that the players have access to edit this character or if I want to be more restrictive, I can only set Jessica to be allowed to modify it. Back on Jessica's account, I can now see that Clementine has the Edit Option button, where she can decide to edit information about his character. Now that Jessica has access to Edit Clementine, she can also set relations, notes and attributes. Members in the player's role will no longer have access to view all characters, families, or locations. I'm going to be very more restrictive with what I allow. Going back to Jessica's account, when I go on characters, I now have access to no one. From my main account on the list of characters, I will now go on Clementine Harkin's profile. In the permissions tab, I will now give read access to all the players but only Jessica, who is in that role, will be allowed to edit this character. Now on Jessica's account, when I refresh the page, Clementine is now visible and I can still edit Clementine. That was it for the overview of permissions in Kanka. As we've seen, we can either give a blanket access to all entities for a role, or give specialised access individually. And as an admin, we can always hide information that we do not want the players to see. I hope you found this video useful and will enjoy using Kanka.